Well, can we get you to identify yourself, see if that's all right? Yeah, my name's uh, Detective Inspector Mark Hogan. I'm the officer in charge of the Northern Crime Group. Some of you may know it as the uh, Northern Investigative Group. You're dealing with the Saving and Service Paradise system, yeah. right? So do you want to... Where are you at with that investigation? Have you just... Have you uh, yesterday, <coughs> at about 5.20 in the afternoon, uh, police were called to the scene of uh, multiple stabbing. Uh, two people were stabbed. The incident uh, was a roll-on from a, a group of people who were known to each other that had gathered in an apartment uh, in and around surfers. Uh, there's an a, uh, incident that took place there and um, the, the male person we were interested in speaking to uh, departed that location and uh, um, acquired a knife <coughs> which has been recovered and uh, subsequently later met um, t the two victims at a, uh, a food place in Surface Paradise and uh, there he produced a knife and uh, two people received injuries, uh, stab wound injuries. The first male person received uh, minor injuries to the stomach. The second male uh, received uh, significant injuries to the back of one of his legs. So was he actually stabbed inside the food outlet? No, I'm led to believe it was outside. Sorry. So you Sorry. No, I don't, I don't think it was that organised. It's sort of an ongoing dispute. <coughs> Have you located anyone today? No, but uh, from, from the investigations last night, police were able to follow uh, the descent of the male using obviously police dogs. Uh, we recovered the, uh, the, what we think may have been the weapon and also some personal clothing and belongings, belonging to the male person who wished to question about the offences. Do you have an idea of who you want to talk to? Yes, we do, and we'll give you that information. <coughs> in due course. Um, obviously very concerning given it was 5 o'clock in the afternoon in Surface Paradise. Yeah, well, you know, any, any offence like this is concerned to police. We, uh, you know, we uh, try to prevent these things all the time and, uh, and it's disappointing when it happens. I guess it sounds like it's not a random attack that's targeted towards <coughs> specific people. No, it's, they, they are known to each other. Uh, and, uh, as I said, it, you know, without having speaking, uh, having spoken to this man myself, you know, it, it appears that uh, the, it is a roll on from a, an, an incident that occurred within a dwelling within the surface paradise. You must be pleased, though, with the response from some <coughs> members of the public who have obviously gone to the two victims and, and helped them and called emergency crews. Uh, yeah, but we've had no issues with uh, the cooperation from the public. Uh, and you know, um, I, I live on the Gold Coast, and I, you know, and everyone here is concerned about that sort of thing. So they seem to step forward. We don't usually have problems with that sort of thing. Can you tell us about the knife? What sort of knife? Uh, no. Does it appear as though he's purchased it or, or stolen yeah, it, it from a, a nearby store? Yeah, it was obtained from a store, and. Uh, it, it would appear that the item was removed from the store without paying for it. Is there anything you're looking for from the public? Anything they can do? Well, we want to find a person uh, we wish to question, and uh, if anyone has any information on him, we'll call Crime Stoppers um, and uh, pass that information on. We'd really appreciate it. Do you have any further description of this um, person? Yes, the, uh, the, the male we're looking for is 185 centimetres. Uh, Caucasian, uh, shortish uh, brown hair, and he has a what I would describe as a wispy goatee. Can you elaborate on the nature of the dispute between the uh, well, I can, but I, I'd rather not because uh, that's, that's information that's relevant to the investigation at this stage. Are they known to the police? Or the police uh, I haven't checked that myself. Are they all um, from Surface Paradise? <coughs> Uh, as far as I know, yes. <coughs> uh, they're not life, the injuries are not life threatening. And uh, last information I had was that one of the, one of the 
victim's remains in hospital at this stage, the other one, uh, the injuries aren't that significant. What an age on this guy you're looking for? Uh, about 24 years. The, uh, it would appear that his lifestyle is, is, uh, is I guess you could say, is an itinerant sort of lifestyle. So he, you know, we are expecting that he would be frequenting places where he may be able to obtain you know, food through non-government organisations, that sort of thing. No vehicle at all? No, not the only way. How big a role has CCTV played so far? Well, you know, that's, that's the aim of everything nowadays, is to get it on CCTV. We do have footage of, of certain events, um, but you know, it's, it's not, you don't get 100% coverage of everything, so we do have snippets of it.